Hi and welcome to the 64 Doors. Today we're going to open door 21. We call this architect the manager. And it's not the old kind of manager that uses control, rigidity and rules in order to enforce his will over others. This is the new kind of manager that is going to lead in flow and is gonna use his wisdom to listen to changing circumstances so that he can adapt and also listen to the people that he's managing. We want to look at this energy today from a human design perspective, energy inky perspective, and we also want to understand how this energy comes up when you have it in your charts or your profile. Let us look at the rave mandala to start with. So right now we have the sun in Aries in gate 21. We have the earth in Libra in gate 48. The design part of the cross is 38 and 39 in Cancer and Capricorn. If we look at the human design explanation, this is the right angle cross of tension. And uh, we have four keywords. And the first one is the hunter for the 21. And you can see the similarity between the hunter and the manager. They both have to wait for their opportunity. Uh, the hunter has to wait for the opportunity to, for, the, for the prey to be there so he can go for it. And the manager has to wait until he's given the authority to manage something. something. If he's trying to control without being given that authority, he's going to meet a lot of resistance. I was also saying wisdom, and that has to do with the 48. So this is the wisdom to listen and to see, to see the, the changing circumstances and to have all that toolbox that you can use different instruments for whatever is going to happen. It's also Libra sign gate. So here we have that ability to also weigh for the best of everybody, for the best of the whole, always seeing those different perspectives and weighing it. Um, the design part of the cross is the 38 and the 39, which is a warrior energy. And it also goes together with the 21, which is Aries and the element of fire. Uh, if we look at the circuitry, or let us first look at how, it, how, it, how we have it in the body graph. So we have that 21 that comes from the ego center, the will center, and it meets the 45 in the throat center. That's the circuitry. Um, and this is called the money line, a design of a materialist, however that is <laughs> pronounced. Uh, and the, the quick reference theme is, yours is a life where the material plane has to be embraced fully. You're here to make money uh, through the power of your will. It is not natural for you to work for anybody but yourself since you are uncomfortable with others controlling you in any way. So we were saying that you need to wait till you're, till you're given the authority. And actually in the meantime, it's not, still not an option for you to work under others. It's very uncomfortable, very frustrating if you have the 21 or the 45 to be able to work under somebody else to have a boss. And of course, if you have the whole channel, probably even harder. And just the 21 by itself, here you see the gate of the hunter and people who must be materially independent and who thrive when giving control. So that's what we said before. And is there anything else interesting? Um, yeah, the potential to dominate and to manage the community, right? That's, the, that's when we look at the ego manifesting gate. Um, and then the design of care management or not. So it's really this thing, you know, in the low frequency, this gate could, could be the old kind of manager that would just enforce his will the way he thinks it is and not using that wisdom, not using flow, but just enforce the same thing, the same way it's always been done, basically. Uh, if we continue to the living library, um, I like to use the element. So fire over thunder and biting through so it has that like once it's given the, the authority it can it's really going to be there it's going to be very dependable it's going to do everything and anything we can also call it a champion because they're really going to be there and to make sure that the honor or the tribe or whoever it leads you know is going to be respected um so control authority and valor that makes a lot of sense right and so here let's see let's make it bigger 
So fire ignites where thunder strikes. Very powerful, thunder and fire. Powerful magic focused through the quickening ray of ascension. And here you have, you can see that it's made, if we look at the, the 21, we have those three, control, authority, and valor. And then in the middle, we have, um, we have the element of, um, of fire, and here we have thunder. So you can see that this is the acidic level, the gift level, and the, and the shadow level. So all the, the three um, shadows. Control is desiring agitation. And then the three gates, or the three, the two elements making up um, the, the 21. Authority is lightness with initiative, and valor is rapturous awakening. So you have 21, 30, 51. Those are the energies of the, of the hexagrams all, all the way down. So that's how this, how this, this is how this is, is um, understood. Some people are asking, where does it come, where does it come from, right? And passionate realization, very, very cool. And we could also, the same thing as last week, but let's go through it again when we look at the code on ring. You know, it says, uh it's really the elements of what it is to be a human being so wounded from the outset 25 you must battle with your shadows 38 overcome the limitations of your mind 17 surrender uh your need to control life 21 so this is really what the what the 21 is here to do surrender and be there and actually manage when everything is changing because that's what life is it's evolution it's change right and find your true self before you can awaken. So these are really part of what we're going through in the transits right now. You can see when we look at it here that we were in the 17, I mean, we were in, we were in the 25 that has to do also with this code and ring and then 17, 21, we're gonna be in 40, the 51 next week. So it's going through uh, these uh, gates right now. And then we were speaking of the astrology that is this aries energy pioneer warrior adventurer and it's service to other in the way of the warrior warrior's will <laughs> so very much that energy and it's kind of double because this is just looking at the 20 at the 21 but you know we also had the 38 and the 39 from the root center uh in the cross so these two here so that's powerful energy for sure um and the programming partner so inadequacy in control so when the 21 is trying to take control but it's not it's not given to it then it's going to meet the resistance and it's going to be inadequate because it's not it's not there to manage something that it's not given the authority to manage and then in the higher frequencies it is authority and resourcefulness so always being able to use that toolbox to adapt and the highest frequencies is our valor and wisdom. And then in real human design, looking at the channel again, 2145. So ownership, which is not in, in itself something negative, but it's something that maybe seven years from now, when we go into 2027, is not going to look the same that it does right now, because we're in a first line collective energy that has to do with in insecurity and where ownership is kind of needed in order to feel secure. But in a six line, it's going to be different and probably it's not going to look the way that it does right now. And then sustenance and philanthropy are the higher. So we don't even know if money is going to exist some years from now. A lot of things are falling apart. Um, let's see. Yeah, what more? Kingfisher is the highest frequency this week. Um, and then the victim patterns. So submissive or controlling. Submissive, if, you, if you're repressing, right? Then you're not gonna step into your authority. Or controlling, if you're reactive, you're gonna react to everything and try to make sure that you're safe by reacting, right? Um, and then, I kind of like this quote. The relationship between authority and submission is a relationship between yin and yang, uh, between the male and female energies throughout our universe. This balancing of the archetype is a hallmark of, of the higher frequencies of the 21st gift. You will find that all relationships play out in the same drama. 
is the core relationship between parent and child, husband and wife, employer and employee. So this is a week, I feel, looking at in your life, what are you managing? What do you have control over in your life? And how is that going? <laughs> Would you say that you're a good manager, a good treasurer, a good hunter? You know, do you take the opportunities that are given to you? So, so, so really go into seeing what do I have control of, over and am I good, am I good at, at, at doing the best of what I have control over. And then it's also a good week to look at what you don't have control over and if you can surrender to that. Because sometimes there are things we don't have control over, but we're actually trying to, to, to have control over them. Or yeah, we are pretending that these are things we can have control over. So are you able this week to actually surrender and understand that there's nothing I can do more than giving into to life and more than anything using that wisdom and that resourcefulness to see how you can adapt to those circumstances in life that are always changing and maybe there's also some place in life where you know where you haven't yet seen that you you would be a person to, to manage something so maybe you can see if there are invitations for you to step up and where that would be supported by your family by your community or even by your higher self uh, so I'm wishing everybody a good week, powerful energies of fire and thunder, and also where there can be some frustration in relationship, because who is submissive and who is dominant? Look at that too. And sometimes we have actually chosen to be one or the other. And once it is two people that are in domination and submission, as long as both are okay with it, as long as both are happy with their roles, that doesn't mean that it's unbalanced. So it's really to it's really to look because with the manager and the employee there is this relationship and it's not by 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 law you know or that both of them are unhappy so also look at those relationships where it feels right but why actually sometimes being in a more submissive or a more passive role is perfectly right for you so a lot of different things to contemplate this week thank you everybody